A high school art teacher was arrested for having sex with one of her students in Mayflower. She pleaded guilty, and just last month, a judge handed down her sentence. Ten years probation and 15 years registering as a sex offender. And a Fox 16 investigates Tyler Thomason shows us how her relationship with that student evolved through text messages and how the sentence in this case might have been different if the gender roles were reversed. After getting sentenced to probation earlier this year, we obtained the case file for Jessica Kaplan. In that file, we obtained thousands of text messages that investigators describe as some of their strongest evidence against her. The text messages like this one painted a suspicious picture for a former art teacher in Mayflower. Jessica Kaplan's case spent a year and a half working its way through the legal system. The 32-year-old faced sexual assault charges for two intimate encounters with one of her students, a 17-year-old boy. It went from talking to texting privately to uh, texting more about personal things that grew into a sexual relationship. Hugh Fiegelstein prosecuted the case in Faulkner County. Court documents detail the crime, text messages detail its evolution. There were almost 5,000 text messages between the two in, uh, in a short period of time. Kaplan, married with two kids, spent more than a year casually texting the student. Eventually, the texts take an eyebrow-raising turn. At one point, she tells the boy just the thought of him makes her grin. And another time, she expresses a desire to kiss him. One of the things that we always try to get a look at are text messages. It allows people to have an artificial barrier where they feel they can say anything they want. According to investigators, Kaplan had sex with the teen in an art room closet and in her car down a discreet road in town. The texting hit a fever pitch just before her arrest. The boy's parents ultimately found some of the messages and told police. Kaplan pleaded guilty to sexual assault. Last month, a judge sentenced her to 10 years probation and status as a sex offender. The issue I think that most people see when they look at this is a gender reversal issue. And that's the big what if. Recent notable cases across the state followed a similar pattern. In 2018, a female teacher in Northeast Arkansas got probation for sex with multiple students. In 2019, a female teacher in Dardanelle got probation for sex with a student. Also in 2019, a female principal in Waldron got nine months in jail and probation for sex with a student. Back in 2016, a male band director in Harrison got 15 years in federal prison for intent to have sex with a student across state lines and coercing another. Unfortunately, that's, that's a problem with perception. We think society needs to catch up to being fair across the board. We spoke to Jessica Kaplan by phone. She declined to comment on any part of the case or her sentence. Back to you. If you or someone you know has fallen victim to something like this, or if you have any other concerns you'd like us to look into, just give us a call. The number's there on the screen. Or you can email us 